welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangled Skeins Crafter. Um, today I am unboxing my Make Market Diamond Art Kit that I got from Michaels. Um, I think I mentioned it in my monthly plans video, so there should be a link in there, but I'll add a link in the description in case you're wanting to go and buy this. I don't remember how much it cost. It wasn't very much, plus it was on sale at the time, I think. Um, I got this for the, what's it called, Drills and Chills 2024. Um, I'm part of that group on Facebook. And I have not opened this yet, so I was excited to get it out and kit it up. And I realized, hey, maybe y'all haven't seen a Make Market kit. And maybe you'd be interested in seeing it. Look, it glows in the dark. It's going to be so fun. So, it's got the, what do they call that? Blocked edging. We have a paper to show how to do it. So, instruction sheet. It is really rolled up. Okay. Like it has eight steps. Pull back the film, locate the symbol, identify the shade, pour the gems into a tray, twist open wax caddy, fill the pin, pick up the gem and place it. So it's pretty pretty easy. It's pretty easy to follow. So if you've never done a diamond painting before, then this shows you how to do it and tells you how to do it. There's tips like washing your hands before working, that you can reposition the gems after you've stuck, but it's it's recommended to avoid doing it whenever possible. And it, if the project becomes soiled during the working process, it can be cleaned by gently wiping with soft, damp cloth. When your project is complete, recover it with film and gently roll gemmed area with a brayer tool. Okay, <laughs> or rolling pin. So I use just a little, a little roller to make sure they're all stuck good. And it has the contents. Pre-printed canvas, pre-sorted diamonds, stylus, stylus grip cover, craft tray, and wax caddy. So let's look. Looks like it's in French on the back. So here is the kit. It comes with it. it comes with some little zipper bags for the beads, for the gems, for the diamonds, whatever you want to call them. It comes with a single placer pin with a little grippy on it, which I won't be using because I have my own pins, but um, comes with some wax. It looks like two things of it. I'm going to try this out and see how well it works. And a pretty good size regular tray. I mean, you know, just with a little spout um, compared to ones I've gotten in other kits. It's wider slightly longer. Let's see, I have a green one. Oops. So the green ones are what come in a lot of the kits, especially the budget-friendly kits that you can get on a lot of sites. Sorry if I'm grinning in effort. So compared to the green ones, it's, it's a good bit wider. So the green tray almost fits into it with, with space on the sides. I can't talk today. So if you're curious. And then, I mean, the pen's not really much different than the ones that come with the budget-friendly kits. Just it got the grippy thing. Okay, I'm going to put that back up. I did buy this with the, my own money. That's why I'm taking out other kits stuff to show, to compare. Um, let's look at the canvas. I'm not going to put this whole thing on the screen, but... I can get most of it on there if I go sideways. It is, what is it? 30 by 40, is that what that is? <laughs> I think I'd be able to tell just by looking at it now. I do some, but I haven't been doing any 
it's 40 by 50 so it's 40.6 centimeters by 50.8 centimeters or 16 inches by 20 inches um, let me sorry I'll lean it in to the camera but I have a measuring tape on this desk somewhere. I'm sorry, it is so messy that I cannot find stuff. But I just had one. Here's one. So the canvas itself is almost 50, 49. I get confused sometimes. One, two, so the line is it, so almost 49 by 59 centimeters. inches, 19 and a half inches, and then the actual art work is almost 16 inches by, sorry this is awkward, it's a little bit too long for me to handle easy. 20 inches and then centimeters it is. I really do wonder if these measuring tapes are accurate because sometimes they seem a little off. 51 by 40. So yeah, they give you the actual artwork dimensions on the box, not just the canvas dimensions. So that is awesome. So this is, like I said, 40, a little bit over 40 by a little over 50 centimeters or 16 inches by 20 inches. It's been a while since I unboxed the diamond painting. Let's see if that focuses. So it looks like it's pretty clearly printed. It's not too tiny. The light is really reflecting off of the cover. It's got really good stick to it. And you can see the edge of it. It didn't come out too far. So I'm not going to be sticking to it the whole time I'm working on it. That's great. There's 17 colors plus the glow and the dark one. So 18 colors. Glow and dark, so white. Luminescent, whatever. And they have the legend on both the upper left and bottom right of the canvas. I love that it means it's easy to see it no matter what direction you're working in. It's the livers. Looks like the words are going to be pretty clear whenever it's done. It's got big blocks of color and little bits of sprinkles, not really confetti or anything, but it's going to be, I think it's going to be really fun to work on and I really need something relaxing to do. I'm just knocking stuff over everywhere. Alright, let's look at the gems as they call them. Okay, this isn't too loud. Okay, so with 18 colors, let's start with 18 and work our way down. Here's two packages of the 18 which is the glow in the dark. And we have 17. They look like they're good quality. I'm not seeing like any deformed ones, any chips, any 
globs in here. They all look like they are of the right size and shape. It's like a gray. My lighting is horrible. I wonder if that help. Gray. Whatever color that is. 15. 14. Looks like there's two 14. Which are. Well, I don't have a color number on here, but I'm assuming black. They look black. They don't look like they have any chunks of black. Um, is that like a really dark gray or brown? Dark brown? 13, 12, there's two really full ones. And those, I believe, are like a dark blue. Yeah, they don't say on the, uh, on the canvas either, the color numbers. So I don't know if they're equivalent to the MC colors or not. Here's 11 and 10. 11, it's a really pretty blue. Ten, there's two of these blues. They're not as vibrant as what I'm seeing on my monitor screen. They're more of a dull, not dull, but not that bright a blue. Number nine. Number eight. This is more orangey on my screen and more peachy or apricot-y. Apricot, I think, to my eye. Seven. Two sixes. Five, three of those. Five. I think these are just different shades of the same color. Four. Three. Some grays too, and one. I'm very confused because one looks like black to me. It's like a really pretty shiny black. But so did number 14. So I guess maybe number 14 is just a really, really dark gray. It's not showing up well on my screen, but to my to my eye, this is a more just what word would I use? It's just a more pretty dark black, like a shiny dark black, and this is more of a almost a matte. So I would say probably a dark gray. Maybe it'll show up better on the canvas, I don't know. But anyway, like I said, they all are pretty uniform. I'm not seeing any trash in there. Any weird globs. I'm not even seeing... Oh, wait. Maybe I said that, do I? Or was that just the bag? I think it was just the bag. I'm not even seeing, like, the wrong color. You know how you get some that have just one or two of, the, of a different color in them from when they were sealed, I guess. I'm not even seeing that. So this is a really nice kit. Canvas is printed clearly. The image is pretty clearly. I mean, um, they do have like the little guide circle kind of thing. Not really though. I mean, like these don't. These. So I'm confused. On what I'm saying. <laughs> but anyway, printed clearly. Plenty of stick to them. The stickiness doesn't come way out. So that's nice. That's a good bonus. The um, the kit itself. The um, like the toolkit is decent. It's got a really nice tray in it. I'm um, sure the the pen's just fine. I haven't tried the wax yet, but I'm getting ready to. Um, and then the gems look perfect. The diamond. So just I will tell you my thoughts probably after I finish it at some point. But just looking at it, I'd say like 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'd probably give it a five star rating just from how it looks. Now, working on it, I might not like it as much as I think I'm going to, but we will see. So that is my quick little unboxing. 
of the Make Market um, Delivers Diamond Painting Kit, Golden Dark Diamond Art Kit, it calls it, that you can get at Michael's. Oh, set the price on the box. So this kit, which is, like I said, 16 inches by 20 inches, is only $15. It's $14.99 US, $21.99 Canadian. And it's such a good little Halloween theme. I'm really happy I, I, I stopped in that day because I, I was just having a, a depressed day. And I was by myself in a, in a city I'm not in often. And when I do go to places that I usually don't visit, I cannot talk today. I tend to try to go into their craft stores and see if they have anything different or special or own sale that maybe my local ones. I mean, honestly, the only thing I have right by me is Hobby Lobby. So almost any craft store has something different. But I didn't see any open at that time that were like local. But I was close. I was passing a Michael's. So I was like, you know what? That's perfect. Went in there. I got me some little fake plants for my hopefully... Hopefully I'll find one soon, new home, new apartment or house or whatever I end up in. And I got those like 70% off. And then I saw this and I was like, this is perfect. I mean, I have all kind of kits I could have used for Girls and Chills. But that that was like my retail therapy and it made me happy. And I'm looking at the um, canvas, I think I'm going to really enjoy working on this. Okay, I will stop rambling. Thank you for watching. Um, I will be recording me working on this and uploading it with a, either a diamond paint with me or maybe time lapse. We will see. Um, I don't know if I will be recording every section. It depends on if I get to move soon or not. If I stay here long enough, then I will try to record every section, but I'm not sure where I'm going to end up, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to have my setup where I can actually record like after I move we will see um, I guess you'll know as I upload stuff um, thank you again and um, I hope you enjoyed this rambly unboxing um, it was unplanned so I didn't I mean none of mine are actually planned out I never know what I'm going to say when I, I unbox anything but yeah thank you for joining me and it's so weird because I can see myself here and it makes me self-conscious. Anyway, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>